It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Vocation Brewery. It's a collaboration with Crate Brewing Company and it's a can of their Cooler Shaker Passion Fruit Milkshake IPA coming in at 6.6% ABV. Really lovely artwork on this can. Lovely to see the effort that's gone into this, this can of craft beer. Uh, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Uh, it's been brewed with passion fruit, memi, sapot, and lactose. 440 can, if I didn't mention earlier on. So we got a two finger white head, slightly hazy, light ish, straw colored heading towards amber colour beer, um, a nice haze to it, uh, let's get the aroma. It smells really good. Whenever I hear, hear the word milkshake in a beer, it slightly mentally puts me on the back foot immediately. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe, maybe because I'm thinking it's going to be this thick, like massive, thick, gloopy milkshake. It's like, remember the old milkshakes you could get at McDonald's, the really thick banana ones. Kind of like I got that mentality in my head, but it's going to be this massive, thick, um, gloopy mess. But just judging by the aroma, there seems to be a little bit of vanilla in there. Lots of passion fruit coming through. Citrusy, grapefruity. It's getting my pa it's getting my kind of saliva glands going. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, blimey! Blimey, wow, Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows, what a really, really tidy, solid, drinkable, refreshing brew with some lactose. You can get that lactose. It's a little bit kind of sticky on the palate. Maybe there's a little bit of oats in the beer as well. It's really really good very nicely balanced there's a little bit of sweetness to begin with there's a nice bit of bitterness on the back end it's like one of those hand gliders that are just gliding down the valley effort 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 i'm gonna leave that word i think effortlessly there we go <laughs> Yeah, that word. Uh, and it's just doing a grand job of, um, of balancing everything out. Sweetness, bitterness. Really, really good quality beer. So immediately, my, that, as I mentioned earlier on, those initial kind of back foot. It's not, it's not a fear. Of course, it's not a fear. It's not that kind of mental on me, but it just puts you on the back foot a little bit with, with the name milkshake on a beer for me. Um, but it just works. It works. I like that consistency. I like that slight lactose creaminess to the beer. I like the fact that there's lots of kind of passion fruit flavors coming through. It's almost kind of Calippo like. It's almost Solero like. Passion fruit Solero like as you're drinking it. Bit of orange peel, pineapple, grapefruit. Yeah, this is good stuff. It's good stuff. And I'm gonna break it to you. Well, you kind of know, you probably tuned into this because you may have bought this, uh, but this beer, and I think, do you know, I, I think even if I paid five pound for this, I'd be saying the same thing. Um, this beer was three pound in Tesco, three pound absolute steal of a beer new range in tesco if you're watching this in years to come um think back that this this review was filmed when the, this range was just launched 
Um, it's a fantastic range of beer. There's about 28 to 30 new beers launched into Tesco, whether it be 330s or 440 cans. £1.80 for the smaller cans, £3 for the, the larger cans. And everyone I've tried up to now have been really good. They've been really, really good. Um, really solid beers uh, and really good value for money. Really good value for money. What does the brewery say? Uh, shake things up with this creamy IPA, brewed with lactose for a full body and milky texture. Passion fruit and meme support. Balance the sweetness of lactose and give this brew an exotic finish. Vocation Brewery, really, really good, good beers. Happy with this brewery. Um, they make the, is it the Vocation, the Blueberry Waffle Stouts? That's like incredible. Always got that in the fridge. Great lacing on the glass, really good aroma. It's a really good kind of beer. I think these beers are going to go down so well in the summer. I'm reviewing this in April, it's still getting a bit dark outside. Once once we hit full sunshine, full beaming summer barbecue blaring, I don't think I would want anything else in my fridge. Is this, uh, 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 when it comes to kind of price and beer, there's a 6.6% IPA that tastes as good as this. Let's rate it. I really like that. I really like that. I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.